It started as an idea to get as many rotaries together as possible, but it turned into rotor stock. With Mazda back in the event, some of the UK's biggest tuners and a drag strip that had never seen anything like it. This was a memorable day for Mazda Rotary Club. The event today is rotor stock. This is a Japanese themed event with Mazdas, all Japanese cars, Subarus, Toyotas, and as you can see, they're very quick cars. The racing took the form of the Street Fighter Showdown. Competitors were whittled down throughout the day in a knockout style competition. We're having a bit of a showdown to see who could run the quickest heat ET here today out of a Japanese car, so the people are really uh, going for it. They've been practicing today to see you know, to try and make the cars putting a bit more boost into their turbos, changing their mapping systems, really being well, very competitive. Okay. Well, we started Dragon Performance about, uh, about nine, ten months ago now. Uh, just bought an RX-7 myself and got into it through that. Went to some specialists and wasn't like uh, completely happy with the uh, service available, so I thought I could do better myself. Um, and since then, we've just been trying to uh, tune up our own cars, uh, kind of concentrating on a demonstration car, so other people can kind of if they can see we can do well. You know, we obviously know what we're doing. Um, if I was uh, looking for a tuning company, I'd go to the one with the uh, fastest car. Basically, it's got a bridge ported engine. Um, we've done internal modifications so we can rev it a bit higher to take advantage of the bridge port because basically the bridge port moves the power band higher up the revs. It's also got a, a T88 turbo, and loads of other ignition mods. We've got three fuel pumps on there, everything else. It's running uh, normal octane, just pump fuel, you know, you get at the um, service station. We've done stuff called suspension mods, twin plate clutch, etc., you know, front mount, intercooler, all those kind of basic bits. Um, we've also done some uh, shell strengthening and stuff like that. I think if you've got a road car and you're in, I mean, you want to go more on the terminals, that shows you how powerful the car is. The, um, the ET just shows you how good your traction is, really. But if you've got like 115, 120 terminals, that's a seriously fast car. Yeah. Um, but obviously something like this, more designed for drag, you, you know, we're, we're hoping to get, get a bit lower. This is the Fensport Corolla, we built this uh, two years ago. Um, it's basically a Celica GT4 2 litre turbo, 16 valve engine, runs up to around 650 horsepower. Uh, has managed to run a 10.9 quarter mile yesterday, 132 miles an hour. I believe it to be the fastest Corolla road car in the world. It's certainly the only one in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> You can have fun on a drag strip in any car. If you race yourself, um, you start off in the morning. I've done an 11 one this morning, so my next target's an 11 or a 10 night. Um, the time just depends on the car and the equipment that you've got. There's certainly more scope. This is our spare engine, it's a two litre capacity. We have at home a 2.1 litre, which we're actually building at the moment, which we hope to have available by mid-summer. And uh, it runs the next step camshaft as well, and we are hoping to get around about the 700 horsepower. This is all without nitrous. Um, nitrous is a possibility for later, but we'd like to see how far we could go without it first. The eventual winner on the day was Adrian Smith from Fensport with his 600 brake horsepower four-wheel drive Toyota Corolla, running an impressive 10.9 at 131 miles an hour.
second row to stock, which will again be held at Avon Park Raceway on the 29th and 30th of May 2005, will this time incorporate drifting as well as the quarter mile mayhem. Yeah.